going to have to wait for the sight screens advertising to be turned off. And Marcus Stoinis. Stoinis is going to bowl the second over. He's in, lollops in. And Cody advances down the wicket, flicks it through mid-wicket, out towards, it's a, it's a bit squarer than that, out towards forward square leg. Ravi Bishnoi does the fielding. One more to the total. Absolutely. So what are they, why did they adopt a different tactic that would serve their purposes better? I mean, it's just a saying, it doesn't matter what bowling attack you have, it's just very hard to contain in uh, Chinnaswamy Stadium uh, because of the angles, it's a small ground with a great pitch to bat on and often we see a lot of scores run, uh, run scored in Chinnaswamy as well. Well, I guess that kind of negates their stellar batting line yeah. because other sides can come with a slightly less strong batting line up and yeah, take still advantage of the, of the conditions. Yes, still get away with it. Which is the exact opposite of CSK, isn't it, I guess? As Stoinis is in short and pulled by Fafti Pressi out towards deep mid-wicket. It's a chase on for Bishnoi. He's going to cut it off about 10 yards inside the boundary. And they get back for a couple of runs, eight without loss. Because we talk about CSK and how they actually design a side for that pitch, especially yeah. a bowling side for that pitch. And then, which was a year, well, they've been two years now, haven't they, when the IPL didn't take place in India once in... UAE once in South yes, Africa. 2021 and 2022. Uh, 2020 and 2021. Yeah. And there, that side is then not as potent. Ah, this is the short, pulled high in the air. Has it got any distance? It's coming to earth. Oh, and it just evades the diving hands of Naveen Orhak running back from mid on. It was short, not quite as short as Stoinis hoped it was. And he got a lot of top edge on that. It was in the air a long, long time. Went back over the bowler's head. Naveen Olhak ran back from mid on, up inside the circle. Put in the dive, diving backwards. And just couldn't get his hands on it. So a couple more for Fof Du Plessis. I think he was a bit slow to get off his mark as well. And that's why everyone seems to be a bit disappointed. Look at the reaction of Marcus Toyn. It says everything. He expected Naveen to take it. Fab Duplessis, as soon as he hit the ball, he thought that's the goner. Luckily, he's still out there. Well, I did. The narrow eyes of Duplessis gaze now at the ball as he flicks it into the onside, out towards deep mid-wicket. And he'll just get a single, just waited for that full delivery. So six off the over so far, four balls gone. So we look at a replay of that previous pull. And you're right, Naveen just didn't, didn't get running, did he? If he'd actually run hell for leather immediately he might have got there I think he judged it wrong he thought he's going to get there easy and suddenly he realised the ball has travelled a bit more than he anticipated and it's, it's a tough catch you can't call it an easy one it was a difficult chance Stoinis in and Kohli gives himself room chips it in the air and just passed extra cover he put out a right hand and thick leading edge really as much as anything else my word, these two are living a charmed life here, Coley and Duplessis. They're yeah, living on the edge, <laughs> both of them. And there was a wonderful delivery as well. Virat Kohli giving a lot of room outside the leg stump. Michael Stone is following him. And then Virat turning the bat a bit too early. Luckily for him, the outside edge went over the shot cover fielder. Yeah, that's the right one, Virat. You should have gone straight <laughs> rather than turning it on the onside. Another single, though. Score advances to 12 without loss. Last ball of the second over coming up. Stoinis is in, Duplessis waits and crashes this through the offside. He's got that past the diving cover. It's running away to the boundary. Oh, hello, now then, this is problems. This is problems for the fielder. It's four, but now then. I think Kale Rahul is in some bother here. As, as he went after the ball, he pulled up and then fell to the ground. He's now shaking his head as if to say, no, I've done something. He's, he's, I think he's torn a thigh muscle here. It seems like it. He was in a lot of pain agony here. A slow delivery, beautiful shot from Faf. Just rubbing salt on the wound of Stoinis. But yes, that looks terrible from KL Rahul. He just collapsed while trying to chase that ball. And straight away, the hands on his thighs. Yeah, this is not looking yeah. good for the captain. He's shaking his head uh, as if to say, no, it, this, this is... You, I mean, I guess you know when you've done that kind of injury. Have you ever... You've popped a muscle a couple of times, I'd imagine, Abishai. Yeah, I yeah, have a few times, but uh, straight away the physio just asking all the players to give him space, give him air, and just asking them to leave him alone. Because obviously he knows better than everyone else <laughs> in the ground. So, yeah, but he is looking in a lot of pain and it's not good news for KL Rahul or for 
LSG. No, he's being treated here, and I would be very, very surprised if we see him again today, in which case LSG have lost their captain. And, OK, I'm going to need a little bit of help here. Obviously, there's a substitute available because there are super subs available in the IPL. There's no sub for us, a further sub, is there? It is, yes. So if somebody gets injured and can't take part in the match, you can bring in another player. As a full player. As a full a player. player. As a full player. Okay. Yeah. So let's take a look at those subs. Um, it can't be an overseas player because the overseas lineup is already full with Carl Mayers, Marcus Stoinis, Nicholas Puran, and Naveen Al Haq. So there are well, Aish Badoni, who you'd expect to see. Can't be Daniel Sams or Quinton de Kock. There's Mankad and there's Avesh Khan. So Badoni would be the nearest straight swap for Rahul but I guess they were hoping they could save yeah. Avesh Khan for after say Amit Risha had bowled out and potentially give themselves another I, bowling option I think ideally if Kael Rahul goes out they need to bring in another batter so if it's Badoni is one of the batters who's going to come in it was a straight swap for one of the bowlers Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they're allowed to bring in another player outside the sub oh. because it's so a, you could add to the subs bench I, I, I don't know I'm just saying it might be because he's got injured on the ground Yes, you and see, you I'm, might be. We've not, I've, we've not encountered this particular yeah, situation before. Yeah. So this will be interesting. We will try and inform you. If any of you know the exact playing conditions regarding someone being injured in the second over before your super <laughs> sub's been taken, and whether or not the sub's bench can be added to <laughs> after the event, yeah. then please do let us know. But Rahul is now walking off, and he is in some distress. He's, he's OK, he's on his feet, but... He's in genuine pain, and I think this is a concern for more than just today. I'd, I'd be quite surprised if we saw him for a little while yet. Yeah, that looked like a proper muscle pop. Yeah, the owner's looking very, very concerned. The dugout, all the coaching staff, they look very worried here as well because they were, hope that he's OK, and he can, if not this game, he can at least start taking part from the next game. But if this gets serious, he might not be able to feature in this IPL, which can be a massive, massive yeah. loss for Lucknow Super Giants. Let's hope it's not the case. But at the moment, a young, uh, one of the youngsters have come in to feel, feel for him. Right, so well, amidst all of that, four runs are scored, we should remember. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty fine shot from Duplessis. He took him to nine, 16 without loss, two overs gone. The first ball of the third is just punched off the back foot up to long off for a single by Kohli as we continue to see Kale Rahul being helped off. He's got his right arm around the shoulder of the physio. It's Crudal Pandya is in once more and that just comes on with the arm, clatters into the pads of Faf Duplessis. It's picked up by Puran running from behind the stumps. There's no run. 17 without loss, the score remains. Crudal doing a good job for his team here. As he's in again, around the wicket, gives himself room, is Duplessis, but he can only crunch it back along the ground for the back foot to the bowler, there's no run. There's not much real pace on this pitch, the ball is stopping, spin is very hard to face, and he's bowled pretty well as well, Conrad Pandya, very straight, wicket to wicket, not giving any room to these players. He's in again, forward comes Duplessis, pushes it, the offside, Chai at the stumps from extra cover, misses. And Duplessis is home. Another signal to the total 18 without loss. You can tell they all want to see the back of Fab Duplicy given the way he's batting the form he is in in this competition. And there was a chance with a direct hit. He was still in. He's still very fit, Fab Duplicy. He's, he's annoyingly fit, isn't he? Kunal in again and forward comes Kohli and pushes elegantly but firmly up to long off for another single no risks being taken at the moment third single of the over just one ball left yeah I think they've just decided that they're not going to take a chance against Ronald Pandya who's bowling really well bowled very well in the previous match as well <laughs> the umpire just holding up play because this over's been going on a little bit too quickly and this has worked into the onside and they'll get through for an easy single. So four singles off the over, 20 without loss after three. Coley has nine. Duplessis has 11, but the, perhaps the most substantive news so far of those three overs is that KL Rahul has limped off. And, well, I would be extremely surprised if he plays any further part in this match or, indeed, 
any match for at least a couple of weeks. We'll wait to see what physios say, but he went down in a heap. Yeah, probably they'll have to get some x-rays done or some scans done before they can make a decision. That's what usually happens in these sort of situations. But at the moment, I think it's Krunal Pandya who's leading the side. Looks like it. He's the one who's navigating the fielders and the bowlers. And Naveen ul -Haq, he'll be mighty effective on these sort of pitches. He does use a lot of finger. He doesn't really give you a lot of pace to work with. Very, very good with his slow deliveries. Four wickets so far in this year's IPL. And he's only he's going at five and two thirds, 5.67. Which is hugely impressive in a very high scoring IPL. We've seen yeah. a lot of scores in excess of 200 already. It's going to be tough to get to 200 today, you fancy. As Naveen runs in upright. And, uh, well, he's going to have to... He's going to have to wait a little bit, and I can entirely understand why. That over by Krunal Pandya only took three minutes, and <laughs> as a result, I think there's a sort of heady, giddy rush going off out there. This game needs to be slowed down. Yeah, I think also a lot of times you've seen that spider cam is making a lot of disruption in times. At times, a lot of times the players are just backing off because it's mm. in their eyesight. I just need you need a better guy to navigate the spider cam. <laughs> oh, <laughs> brutal. <laughs> Okay, so he's going to try again, Naveen Olak. He's in as Faf waits, has a hack at this, gets a little under edge, and oh, he could be, could have been out there with a direct hit. A terrible mix up between Duplessis and Cody. He didn't actually go any great distance, he only went about three or four yards down the pitch, but he hesitated so long, and Naveen Olak was all over it, realized that there was a problem as the ball was initially smashed into his heel, thought about the run. The throw at the stumps misses from less than a yard. And how less can you than miss a yard with all three to, sorry, all three stumps to look at. How, how do you miss out? that? <laughs> how does he miss that? <laughs> how does he miss that? Uh, it's Fab Duplessis' night. Seems well, like it. He's been pretty fortunate so far. So Naveen, only himself to blame there as he comes hurtling in once more. Plessy waits and then the slower ball just again sort of tries to hack this back. It goes along the ground, back to the bowler, and there's no run. Yeah, I think when you play bowlers like Naveen ul as a batter, your first instinct should be to try and play him as a slower delivery guy who's going to come and bowl pretty much every other delivery will be a slower ball. So if you, if you get ready for a slower delivery, then he bowls a quicker one. That's easy to play. But if you're always accepting a quicker one and he bowls slower in the change of delivery, as a batter, it's very hard to pick those. Just trying to work out what this pitch is doing as well for him because it could be quite stoppy, I think. As you say, it could really work to his advantage. He comes in. Right arm over the wicket. Now, this has been driven high in the air. Has he got the distance? It's going out towards it. Oh, it has. Over wide, long off. It's crept over the boundaries sponge and thudded into the advertising hoardings for the day's first six. With the pace on delivery was in the slot as well for Fab Duplessis. That was a wonderful shot again. Just stand and deliver. It didn't time it as well as he would have liked, but still going the distance. And Naveen ul -Haq will realise that pace on is not the way to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would think. Let's see how he responds. 26 with our loss, RCB now, halfway through the fourth over. This is full and driven, but not with any great timing or placement up towards mid-off. They'll get through for the single, mid-off's right back on the edge of the circle. Duplessis moves to 18. Yeah, it was pace on again, but that time the length was better. Uh, you just got to bowl that back of the length. It's very hard on a surface where the ball is stopping a little bit. At the moment, we're just getting a little glimpse of yesterday's knock from Yashasvi Jaiswal. Well, what an innings it was, 124 of 61 deliveries, 62 deliveries, striking at 200. <laughs> when we came in this morning, you were, this afternoon, you were waxing lyrical about that <laughs> innings. You and Ankur. He's having one heck of an IPL, Jai Swan. As Naveen comes in out of Kohli, yet to really get going, he advances and then guides the ball down through backward point for four. That is a silky shot. Kyle Mayers cannot cut that off. And there was nothing more than a placement of bat on ball. He came down the wicket to a slightly shorter ball, but there was enough width. And all he had to do was guide it to the right of short third or backward point. And oh, it's a lovely, lovely shot for four. 
It shows it's, you don't need muscle. It's such a contrast with Fab Duplessis. You see muscle and power. With him, you see finesse and touch. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant to watch these two back together. And as a youngster, if you're getting to watch both of these players, it's such a good learning experience because then you know that both type of cricket can survive in T20 cricket. Naveen is in. Kohli pushes it to the offside. Finds a gap between point and extra. There's Stoinis running in from the boundary. Keeps them to one. 12 off the over. RCB after four. 32 without loss. Kohli 14. Duplessis 18. You know, you're dead right, Abhishek. Youngsters watching, they can learn a lot. But I like to think that in this box, even even some old hands like yeah. Ankur and myself, you know, we're not past it. We could learn. <laughs> you Absolutely. don't have to be young to learn. Yeah. Every day is a school day. Well, I'm saying somebody who wants, yeah. who aspires to be a professional cricketer. I well, don't think Ankur and you are still aspiring to be a professional well, cricketer. I, go, I mean, I don't know. Surrey there are a lot of legends happening. There are a lot of legends. Surrey over 60s, yeah. Surrey over yeah. 70s. I mean, you know, I, I can build. Yeah. And because I don't get me wrong, as Kunal starts a new over and the ball's just tucked into the onside for a single. The whole world's geared up for the young, isn't it? Oh, we've got to give the young a chance. Oh, look how the young could learn from this, that, and the other. But think about the desiccated late middle age. That's true. Every sorry, now I'm and sorry then. to upset. Pandya <laughs> in. Ball's clipped out to deep mid wicket for a single. And I understand as a coach that your mind is going to be on that, but just yeah. think. Wouldn't it be a bigger story if you could turn either of us into a competent cricketer? I mean, but, you know, just I take a highly talented I could, child. I could. It's just going to take you a bit of time, and you've got to dedicate that sort of a time. We'll do whatever you tell me. us. We'll yeah. do whatever you tell us. But yeah. I'm telling you, your, your reputation would absolutely go through the roof. Yeah. This next delivery is driven up to long off for a single. Because if you could transform either of you to play in the IPL. such wretched yeah. base metal as me and Anko. Because, I mean, anybody can take a really bright, young talent oh, absolutely. and mold them. Absolutely. But can you take us? This is glitch in the air. Oh, the bounce to mid on. And there's no run. Yeah, I'll give it a deep think. Yeah? But at the, when we're looking at the pitch. It looks like a road, yeah, doesn't it? It's does. not playing it, like it, one. It looks really, really, <laughs> it looks really good, but it's not playing very good. good and again, this has been hitting the air off the back foot up towards long off. I tell you, Duplessis, despite being on 20 off 16, has hardly timed the ball. The only one he has got hold of was in the slot outside off stump. Yeah. I just feel that the ball is not coming onto the bat. They're finding it very difficult, even the last shot. He wanted to go over extra cover, but the ball just holding onto the surface. Last ball of the over is tucked into the onside square of the wicket. They go through for a quick single, and Crudar has bowled three splendid overs there. Three overs, none for 14, just five singles off that over. It was the fifth over, only one left in the power play. RCB, 37 without loss, Cody 17. Duplessis has 20. More from you, Abhishek, on what has been a steady but tricky start, you'd have to say, on what's an awkward wicket. And then for the first time today, a man whose entire cricketing life is about to be transformed by Abhishek Junjunwala's training programme. It'll be Ankur Desai. Yep. Uh, I, I just feel that. Because they haven't lost a wicket in the first five overs, they're still in a very good position. And yeah, it's, it's just if two people who understand T20 cricket and who will be good to assess this situation or conditions and put a total in their mind, these two are the perfect, perfect example because they would know exactly what sort of a total will be enough given their bowling attack on this surface anchor. Yeah, they'll, they'll assess the pitch conditions nice and quickly, nice and early, yeah. and, and, and you fancy them too to figure it out um, but yeah I mean speak for yourself Dan I mean uh, I, I could play a bit back in the day but but that, that was a very long time ago I, 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 think I, I, I had some trials I think you can still play it <laughs> depends what we're talking <laughs> I played one game I think it was like a TMS game and I um, I was awful enough to survive like two balls I even got Sonal Gavaska to give me yeah. the opportunity to uh, go to a, a review which actually fell in my favour as uh, Bishnoi comes in and bowls it on the leg stump ugly hack from Kohli which should be don't normally see and that is no run and yes. then um, I went I went for the uh, went for the big like VAR so to speak uh, I, try, I basically just introduced VAR to cricket um, brilliant by doing the VAR signal rather than doing what we normally do in cricket uh, and then giving it the T as Bishnoi comes in again short outside the off stump and cuts Kohli for no run into the offside and uh, they did a replay just for me and I think Dan was on commentary bless him and um, I, then I got out a couple of balls later <laughs> so 
<laughs> they got something to the game. Yeah, but at least I added something to the yeah, game. Yeah, exactly. It makes a massive difference. So into the sixth over, 37 for no loss, the RCB. Kohli on 17, Duplessis on 20. Ravi Bishnoi starting his spin and uh, he's just bowled it nice and flighted outside the off stump and then kohli has gone for a swipe into the uh, onside. And that goes just for a single down to deep mid wicket. Yeah, it's just Virat Kohli, he's trying very, very hard at the moment, but just because of the conditions, because of the pitch, the way the ball's coming onto the bat, he's really struggling. Seeing an injury to Jadev in a cut, which had uh, taken place yesterday, the left arm seamer, who's part of India's World Test Championship squad, isn't he? And, yeah, um, he is, yes. Him being injured for LSG as well.